Is it the mid journey killer that we have all been waiting for? Stable Diffusion Excel 1.0 is officially launched and in this video we're going to see how good Stable Diffusion 1.0 is and we're going to see a couple of examples comparing with mid journey. Let's get started with the video. SD Excel 1.0 Stability SD Excel 1.0 pictures are really really amazing and so good. I mean it is so surprising and amazing to see how far we have come from the starting version of first version of Stable Diffusion. The open source community has really put in a lot of effort in getting this to the best place possible. So let's start with understanding the model and then we'll look at some samples. The model has got something called an ensemble of experts. So ensemble of experts here means that we have got a base model and we have got a refiner model. Okay. So the latent diffusion process happens like this. In the first step, the base model is used to generate the noisy latents which are further then processed with the refinement model. So the refinement model is also shared separately. So stable diffusion or stability AI has made sure that these two models can be used separately. And that has already led to a lot of experiments on internet. You know, people have tried to create a combination of style transfer using just two different prompts because you know, you can have these two models separately like base model and refiner model separately. Having said that, that you can use this in this setup, like having a base model that generates noisy latents and you have got the refiner model that does the refinement process for the final denoising. So this is one option. The second option is you can have a two stage pipeline. The two stage pipeline is like this. First, you have the base model that generates the latents of a desired output size, the base model. And then you use the specialized high resolution model and apply a technique called SD edit. You can either use first approach where you use the refiner model or you can use a second approach where base model with SD edit um, with the high resolution model. Having said this, the first technique is um, better. That's what they're saying. The second technique is slightly slower. But also if you see the benchmarks, uh, let me go to the benchmarks. You can see that the base with the refiner is the best. You can see the base with the refiner is the best. And you can see SDXL 0.9 base with the refiner comes the next SDXL 1.0 base just base alone is the next and SDXL 0.9 base is the next and SDXL 1.5 is this and SDXL 2.1 is this. So if you compare from SD stable diffusion 1.5, you can see there is at least six times improvement. I mean, that's massive. Uh, or maybe let's say four uh, five times more than five times massive, massive improvement in terms of people's preference, user preference. And also there was a notion that SD stable diffusion 2.1 was complete crap. And this completely, you know, acknowledges the fact that people preferred stable diffusion 1.5 more than stable diffusion 2.1. Anyways, the point here is that SD Excel is almost like four to five times better than stable diffusion. But is it better than mid journey? That's the first question that we are trying to understand. Let's look at the comparison between SD Excel 1.0 and mid journey. If you start with this image, you can see that SD Excel stable diffusion Excel 1.0 has done a tremendous job. It's almost very similar like what mid journey has done in that particular space. The anatomy is decent and it looks really good. When you see the picture, it doesn't look completely plastic, but I still prefer mid journey image over stable diffusion image in that particular case. But for the same image and for the same prompt, a different stable diffusion image, you can see that it has completely messed up with the fingers as usual. I mean, the face is completely fine. Uh, I don't, I don't mind a lot. Hair looks artificial, but the hand is completely not good. And I don't know, is it because of negative prompts? Because I didn't give any negative prompts, but by default, it is not as good as mid journey in terms of human figures. And for this mid journey image, stable diffusion Excel 1.0 has done again a good job, but it has not the prompt asks us to show the picture, but it has not shown the front of the human. And when it decided to show the front of the human, you can see like almost a ghost like image. Once again, I do not know if it is not because I've not used any negative prompt, but as you can see, it has not done a good job. In this case, it's it's again like a cartoon picture, like a comic book picture. And uh, I guess like Stable Diffusion Excel has done a really good job, not 
as same as mid journey but on a different taste it has done a good job and i can feel that you know for that particular use case i would prefer using sdxl 1.0 than mid journey so these are the samples that i wanted to compare and then i try to compare with both mid journey and sdxl so the conclusion that i have come to is at this point i've used stable diffusion xl 1.0 on clip drop without any negative prompts i feel still that negative prompts might make a huge difference so maybe i'll do a separate test altogether with negative prompts and sd excel and then see how it does but the vanilla format like as it is uh, i still prefer mid journey especially for human beings than using stable diffusion excel the individual if you see stable diffusion excel it looks really good like this is one of the pictures from stable diffusion excel this is another picture from stable diffusion excel this is another picture from stable diffusion excel this is another dif picture from stable diffusion excel especially if you see this picture here the lighting here is good the depth of field is good the focus is quite good the picture is good i mean the human anatomy doesn't look that bad like i i can still point out things but overall if you see this like if somebody shows you this the first question that you would naturally ask is hey is this mid journey i mean is it mid journey that um, i'm i'm looking at that's that's naturally people would ask because it is that good even if you see any picture that they've added in the documentation also it is so good the picture stand alone like alone is so good the details are so good it's very precise but it still doesn't do a lot of things as good as mid journey and what are those things let's look at things so the model cannot render legible text mid journey cannot do it but still mid, mid journey doesn't do as bad job as this one it doesn't achieve photorealism that's what they've said like this is a very basic limitation i mean just something that they've mentioned it struggles with a uh, composionality so that means such as rendering an image corresponding to a red cube on top of a blue sphere so it gets confused like which one is red which one is blue and that kind of thing my biggest problem is faces and people in general may not be generated properly it does good when you are focusing on the subject like if it is a portrait but it doesn't do good when the subject is out of focus so that's that's one thing having said this with all these things it i mean you can see that it does text but that's what they've said like it does text having said all these things let's look at the comparison that they have done with mid journey so when we go to the they've done a study they've done a user study with mid journey when you see the user study you can actually see that there has been a comparison what the comparison says is that from 17153 user preference comparisons between sdxl 0.9 and mid journey v.1 v1 which was the latest version when they did the study 54.9 that that's technically means like more than half a percent of people preferred sdxl favored sdxl over mid journey this gets very interesting when you look at the comparisons of benchmarks that they've got the party prompts so if you see this thing where people prefer mid journey is when you have got abstract images and when you have got illustrations and it starts changing food and beverages sdxl has done really good this is also without the refinement model animals people have preferred sdxl artifacts people have preferred sdxl very surprisingly they don't have humans here but i i still feel okay let's let's look at this i still feel humans uh, i honestly prefer mid journey human than a human from sdxl so sdxl with refinement model if you see properties and positioning people prefer mid journey because that does a better job linguistic structures i don't know honestly what does it mean a simple detail the prompt comprehension a prompt understanding of mid journey is something that i always loved open source to have you just have to give a very small prompt mid journey has a really good understanding and style and format it's almost closer perspective fine grained detail that's somewhere people prefer sdxl stable diffusion excel complex quantity writing and symbols text it does well actually unlike this head imagination so this is all something that mid sdxl stable diffusion excel does with the refined model model does better than mid journey and you can also see the comparisons of the single stage and multi stage pipeline the two two stage pipeline if you see the comparisons here so you can see sdxl samples with zoom ins without left and with the refinement model right so right is with the refinement model 
and the left is with the without the refinement model if you look at the zoom in here you can see the define uh, difference you can see the blurriness here like not very proper it is quite proper and when you zoom in you can actually see the difference very clearly you can see this difference here you can see the difference the right side is all honestly like better and like i said honestly the place where i have problem like i said the human faces you can see the faces here i mean when you do portrait this is a portrait the face is actually good like you, you i mean it's not it's not very uh, natural but still the face is okay it's not deformed the hair is kind of messy but it's okay but when you have pictures like this where the subject is quite on the back side or like a wide angle picture you can very well feel that the face is not good it's deformed it looks complete crap or plastic or manicure in a setting but with the refinement model they're saying it is better but it is still not there like mid journey is what my concern is but you can see that there is a difference there is a huge difference but still this face is not better without stable diffusion versus mid journey if you just look at sdxl stable diffusion these are brilliant pictures this is a very simple prompt shot of a vaporware fashion dog in miami this is what you get some kind of jellyfish this is aesthetic magical realism through the yellow windows of the last train grainy film as we saw that it does a really good job with grainy structures it has done a really good job I and mean, this looks like you know something out of barbie and most of the pictures that you see i mean of course when you have a landing page you're not going to miss it up but most of the pictures that you see here is actually super super good and if you want to access sd excel 1.0 all you have to do is go to clip drop slash co slash stable diffusion and then you can start entering your prompt and then generate usually it has a long queue but if you don't want to run the open source model which you can actually run it on your let's say gpu or even google collab which i'll make a separate video about but if you don't want to do all those things you can go here and create just give a prompt here or you can pick one of these items you can just pick here click this and then it will start creating it says i have reached my limit because i've been trying a lot of images before making this video it's asking me to create a free account but the point is um i've, <laughs> I've reached my usage cap thanks to this video there are already a couple of hugging face spaces available let me know in the comment section what do you feel about sdxl in general and i am honestly very happy to see such a brilliant quality open source model that can do tremendous things like imagine like from where we have come where and i've been covering stable diffusion since day one like since stable diffusion came out so i am genuinely happy that stable diffusion is really the best one of the best that is available in the market right now and it is open source and people can use it for free so thank you so much for watching thanks to the stability team for putting this out see you in another video happy prompting